everybody. Welcome to the, yeah, give it up, give it up. Welcome to the 2017 AppNexus Summit. I am very honored to be here, but also really surprised because they do not usually tap engineering to host these events. Uh, we are somewhat socially awkward, uh, deeply skeptical, cannot make sustained eye contact to save our lives, and social graces are not a thing. But you know, I, I think we're charming. I also think that Roombas are charming if, if you're into that kind of thing. But again, social graces aside, we love to solve problems. And that's the underlying theme of today's summit, is we're gonna talk about tackling some hard problems and the biggest problems that are facing our industry today. Fraud, supply path optimization, funding hate speech, what to do with all of this data. We have so much data, but how to do it without making people feel like we're invading their privacy or stalking them. These are hard problems. And we're gonna bring out a bunch of experts and builders to come out to talk to you about these problems and these solutions today. But I also want to bring out a special guest. And I know you all have these agenda cards in your hand, and you're like, uh, the special guest is Brian O'Kelly. He's not that special. We've seen him <laughs> every single summit. But, but look, I'm gonna bring out a different Brian O'Kelly. How many of y'all read Bach on ads? Anyone, show of hands, Bach on ads? Uh, that's the Brian O'Kelly that posts things when corp communications and legal isn't looking. <laughs> that's the guy I wanna bring out on stage because that's the one that I know. So I was actually the first software engineer hired at Upnexus some nine and a half years ago. I've worked with this man for a long time. We were in cramped rooms together arguing about distributed data storage and whether a space should live before a semicolon. It should not. Um, no, really, it should not. That's awful. Uh, whether or not we can really sustain million requests per second on a shoestring budget. I've butted heads with this person. I've grown. We've worked together. And sometimes when I'm on stage and I see the Brian on Forbes and I see the person talking at the summit, you know, he's a little different. And don't get me wrong, I, I really like, you know, the, this tailored suit Brian with the core strategic visions and the, you know, analogies about the industrial revolution that are really heartwarming and inspiring. I, I like that guy, but he's just not, he's just not the person I solve problems with. Um, the person I solve problems with, he's brutally honest, like terrifying honest. He, he tells you things that are really hard to hear because you have to hear them in order to build the right things. He is a lot more detail oriented. He does not speak in analogies. He brings out the data points. He brings out the prototypes. And above all, he is challenging. He blatantly challenges you. He will say to your face, if you can't do it, just say so, which I know seems really rude, but it is the best kind of call out a person can have because it is saying, the only thing holding you back is your fear of failure. And that's the person I want to bring out. So by the powers invested in me as the host and some sweet talking to legal and corp comms, <laughs> I'm going to bring out not Brian O'Kelly, but Bach on ads. And he's going to talk to you today about our big problems. Well, thank you, Tivu. Uh, that was all an elaborate attempt to get out of wearing a suit today. <laughs> um, Bach on Ads has a funny origin story. Uh, last summer, I was doing a lot of research. With the evolution of header bidding, we found that the same impression was getting auctioned into the exchange again and again. So the exact same impression, the exact same person, the exact same placement was being sold by five or 10 or sometimes as many as 16 different SSPs. And so it stands to reason that these impressions would all be sold at about the same price. But what we found was that there was a wide variance in the price that these impressions were sold for. Now, were I a conspiracy theorist, I would want to call a publisher and say, did you get paid all those different prices? Or are there shenanigans happening in the middle? Are there SSPs that are taking some of that variance and keeping it. Now, I can't prove that, or at least I couldn't then. And so I wrote up this whole big blog post about the idea of supply path optimization. I said, why don't DSPs look at all of these prices and choose one SSP to buy from? 
And I, I wrote this up, and obviously it should be the, the lowest price SSP, not the lowest price for the publisher. The publisher gets the same price, I think, in any case. How do we make sure that the supply chain is efficient? So I wrote this up, I sent it around to a bunch of colleagues. And what do you think my colleagues at AppNexus said? Well, Tom Shields, our chief strategy officer, says, Brian, this is great, I love it, but um, have you thought about the implications? If we commoditize the SSP, you know, it's probably great for buyers and it's great for publishers, but you may have forgotten this, but we're an SSP. Doesn't that mean that we're putting our revenue at risk? Aren't we gonna risk that all of these take rates or rev shares that the SSPs get will go down considerably and you know, we might have a revenue impact? And I said, you know, Tom, that's a great point. I know my job as CEO is to care about revenue, but this is right. This is the right thing for the buyers. It's the right thing for the industry. You know, how about this? I won't publish my blog post on the AppNexus Impressionist, our blog. I will go register a domain name, Bach on Ads, and I will post it as an independent pundit. Now, most of you probably figured out that Bach and Brian O'Kelly are the same person, um, but maybe you know, somebody else will go out and, and do this supply path optimization thing. And so I posted it, and you know, I don't mean to brag, I have hundreds of subscribers to this blog. <laughs> like, a few hundred. Um, that means less than all of you subscribe, so thank you. Um, but this blog post got some pickup, and people started talking about it, and a few weeks later, AppNexus decided that we were going to be the first DSP to implement SPO. And there's something special about that, that AppNexus wants to be the company that lives these principles, these ideas, that you know, enacts these difficult truths, that the supply chain is going to commoditize. The question is just, who does it? Now, if you fast forward a year to where we are today, um, is Sarah here from AdExchanger? Sarah, thank you so much. Um, Sarah posted an article today on AdExchanger, and so uh, free publicity here. She asked 18 different SSPs two questions. One, do you take non-disclosed buy-side fees? Now, quick hint, if you take non-disclosed fees, you shouldn't tell a reporter about your fees. <laughs> By definition, that's disclosing them. So that's the hint. Oh, so one SSP disclosed that they take non-disclosed fees. <laughs> Come on, you're just not good at this, all right? So of the other 17, 10 said they don't. A number of them didn't even respond. Now, if you don't respond to Sarah, that probably means you have something to hide. How many of these SSPs do you think answered the second question? What is your average take rate of 18 SSPs in a market that is a year of talking about transparency? How many of them disclosed their take rate? Any guesses? One. One. Not Rubicon. <laughs> But great guess, you would think Rubicon, but no, AppNexus. And you can look in the article, you can see our take rate, and I believe that's the difference between talking about transparency and living transparency. AppNexus is fully committed to the idea that not just on average, but that on every single impression, we should show everyone, buyer and seller, exactly how much money we make. And I think that makes the industry much cleaner. Now this is good for publishers, because in theory, they should choose low take rate partners. And it's good for buyers because they can see where their money goes throughout the entire supply chain. And I think that's a, a pretty obvious step for us as an industry. And I'm, I'm kind of excited that by you know, starting this process with a blog post, we now hear many people talking about SPO or supply path optimization. We hear about transparency. And in fact, later we'll have a, a really exciting panel where some buyers and some ad tech companies talk about what they're doing to push this forward. So that's how, how we can change this industry, and all of you have been part of this process. So with my Bach on Ads hat on, um, I feel like I can say these difficult truths, and with my AppNexus CEO hat on, I can make them happen. So I wanna talk about something else that I've been really passionate about for the past four years. Four years ago, a few of us looked at our DSP console and said, we keep trying to build more and more machine learning on top of this existing platform. And every time we added more functionality, it got harder and harder to add to the UI. Those of you who use our product, you might say that we have the most complicated UI in the space because we've added so many features on top. But at some point, this has to stop. We have to figure out how to flip this idea. Instead of putting these machine learning algorithms things on top of this platform that wasn't built for it, what if we flip the, flip the paradigm? 
what if we started with all of this machine learning capability and then built a DSP around it? This was a big idea. We weren't even sure it was possible. And we began down this path. I thought it would take a year or two. Well, it turned out it took us four years to get to the point where we completely flipped this platform inside out. Some of you have been working with this platform in our alpha tests and betas for 18 months. You've seen the announcement of a AppNexus programmable bidder. That's the secret sauce inside and have been working with us on that for a couple of years. What you've seen is a long progression toward building a brand new product from scratch. And when you see Tivo on stage, when you see me here, you'll see a bunch of product people and data scientists and engineers. Really, AppNexus is, at core, a bunch of, of really smart, passionate people trying to build something that will transform the way that the buy side works. And we've decided to announce today our new buy side platform, which we're calling the AppNexus Programmable Platform, or APP. Now, there's really three things that are special about this platform. The first one is this idea of programmable, that inside it is this machine learning programming language, basically, where you can express anything you want. You have total control, 100% built on APIs that anyone can use. Secondly, it's built on the idea of transparency that I just mentioned, so that every single penny or fraction of a penny that we touch, we will share with the buyer so you know exactly where your money's going. And we're gonna do that end to end throughout the supply chain and make it auditable. We're working with a number of blockchain initiatives and a couple of independent ad tech companies so you can see exactly where your money goes top to bottom in the supply chain. And the third thing that's built into this platform is kind of a radical approach to brand safety. All of the machine learning, all of the anti-fraud, all of the anti-hate speech, everything we've been working on for years to make sure that every impression you buy is on a quality piece of inventory going to a real person is built into this platform. Now, anyone here who wants to go buy inventory from Breitbart, you're gonna have to go somewhere else. There's no button that says, I wanna buy hate speech. It's all turned off. Now, don't forget, Amazon lets you buy Breitbart. Google lets you buy Breitbart. Facebook's thinking about it. Um, we won't. And I think that philosophy transforms to everything else. We will find any way to protect you from inventory that's not brand safe, from non-human traffic. It's all built into the platform. And you'll hear from some of our data scientists later about all the mechanisms we're doing to find all of the bad traffic that's coming through this ecosystem. So if you put those three things together into this APP, what you have is incredible machine learning and optimization. You have radical transparency. And you have the most brand safe, fraud free buying platform ever built. And I think those three combine to drive world class outcomes for marketers, for brands, and a platform that allows each of us to innovate and bring unique value to this ecosystem. So we're replacing all of this leakage and loss with real value creation. And I think that means that we, as an ecosystem, can actually create value that none of these walled gardens can. So, it will be available in open beta in February. Really excited to have you try it. I think over the next six, nine, 12 months, we'll see even more innovation on top of it. And to show you more about APP, I'd like to bring out VP of Product, Susanna O'Kelly, to talk more about App. Mm -hmm.